Hey, good morning. Fourth of July. I'm walking. Uh, this is uh, my therapy for uh, prostatitis. So, the best thing to do is when you have prostatitis, in my opinion, is you have to keep moving. You have to keep the blood flow going down there, man. The more blood flow you put in there, the better it is going to be for your muscles. So, I know it's, it's rough to, to walk and, and to feel motivated because I know it hurts. But you have to walk. Try to put in like two miles of walking. Then I started going to the gym. And believe it or not, going to the gym actually uh, helped me a lot. Like I uh, started doing those those exercises that a lot of dudes don't do. Like, you know, the butt exercises, the ones you kick back and, and you get on the weights and you kick up for your butt and your legs. And, and then you do the adductors when the girls open their legs and close them. It's like a, it's a machine do it for your butt and for your adductors. You have to do those machines, man. Those machines are going to... I think those machines are going to be... In my opinion, honestly, in my opinion, my opinion, from all the stuff that I've done before, because I have prostatitis, but I have a bacteria in there, which got detected. I'll talk about it, about, I'll talk about it a little bit after. But um, I'm going to tell you one thing that works probably better than uh, pelvic, floor, pelvic floor therapy. You have to exercise. Exercise. Like, do squats. Do those machines that I told you. Go for walks. Release your fascia, which is you got to hang. If you we, if we look at another video, I got a video on how to release the fascia for prostatitis. Just go on one of my videos and check it out. That's what I do. Believe it or not, how stupid as, as, stupid as it looks. Just by using monkey bars. Or like a, you know what I mean? Just a bar on the door. It's going to release all the fascia in your stomach and on your sides and... That could be tugging on your bladder, and that's why a lot of people are urinating too much. If this applies to women too, this 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 applies to women and men. Just you know, pelvic floor dysfunction. Period. Go on my video and look at it, and then uh, do start releasing your fascia, and let me know how you feel after. Okay, just do it for like a week straight every day. See how you feel. And another thing, uh, do uh, you have to do a Vegas Vegas nerve release? Reset, you gotta reset your vagus nerve, which is right here, behind your ear. Look at YouTube channels, I don't have one yet, but you can look at YouTube and right here on YouTube and just look for, for videos to how to reset your vagus nerve. That is gonna help you. I'm telling you all the stuff that is working for me right now. The walking and doing all those exercises has reduced the pain like, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It, if I just had pelvic floor dysfunction, I would have been cured right now. I would have been cured, 100%. But since I do have a bacterial infection, it, it minimized. It, it stopped, like, the pain, like, all my butt pain kind of calmed down. My leg pain, my hip pain, my back pain, everything kind of stopped. It's weird, like, like just by doing those exercises. It, and it, it helped me. Look, these exercises helped me more than pelvic floor therapy. I went to three different pelvic floor therapists. And yeah, they did. They find they found trigger points and all that stuff, but it, and they were just hurting me, man. They were. I thought they were they were making me better, and then I just said, you know what? I'm gonna start doing it on my own. So I started just working out, going, started doing those machines, started doing those machines, all those machines, and working on your butt, on your butt. You have to work on your glutes, man. Let me tell you, a lot of people get pelvic floor dysfunction because they clench too much. They clench, they clench. They're they're masturbating like crazy. They're doing death grips. They're destroying themselves same thing with women probably you guys are too aggressive you know i'm just being honest you know you guys are probably sticking stuff in there too aggressively not breathing right and just being aggressive and putting a bunch of stuff in there not breathing and and just uh, instead of just instead of breathing and relaxing to, to to make things better because it's supposed to be relaxing what's the point of being all aggressive and i think this applies to a lot of women that are that are just masturbating just like men you know all the muscles down there they get tight and then now you're having problems down there, you know. It, you, you be, it becomes hypertonic because you keep messing with those, uh, with the muscles. So what I, you know, what I encourage everybody to do is to, to just uh, start stretching, stretch, go to the gym, get the, um, get those machines that I told you guys. Work on your legs, work on your legs, on your on your thighs, on your butt, glutes, you know. And just, you know, but yeah, you know what? It does, for some people, it does help the pelvic floor therapy, which they got to go and do uh, stretches and all that stuff. 
but the stretches are not gonna do enough because you could do all the stretches you want and yeah, you're gonna feel relieved, but the, the problem is that you have a weak pelvic floor. So you need to make it strong. The only way you're gonna make it strong is by doing those exercises. You, you know, you keep, make that butt strong, make your, your glutes strong, make your legs, your inner, your thighs, your inner, outer thighs, your, 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 your adductors, you know, uh, stretch, do the, do all those, uh, the stretching. Yeah, the stretching is good, like I said, but you need to do those machines. You know, I'm not gonna say that it, that didn't work. You know, the pelvic floor doesn't work. It does work. Pelvic floor therapy does work. Big time, especially if you have trigger points inside. Yeah, you need to get one because they're gonna release the, the trigger points inside that you can't get. But it's gonna continue to happen if you don't make your, your body strong. So you have to work out. You have to work out on those muscles, man, especially your glutes, man. The glutes and the adductors, you gotta make them strong, man. You have to do whatever it takes to make them strong. Once you make them strong, you're not gonna you're not gonna entrap the nerve, you know, because the muscles are weak, so they entrap the nerve and the and then that's why you start getting dysfunction. But if you make them strong, you're not you don't have to go through all that. But I'm leaving, look, anyways, I went off the topic a little bit. But I'm leaving uh tonight. I'm leaving tonight at three in the morning. I gotta start heading to the airport so I could go get my treatment. Uh, I'm leaving to Europe to to work on that prostatitis stuff. So we'll see how it goes for me. I'm trying my best to to document whatever I can, you know, when I take this trip. And uh, look, I've been walking. I've been walking two miles in the morning, and then from there we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So. I'm just walking, I'm walking right now. But yeah, I'm gonna do the the therapy, man. I'm gonna do the the therapy in Europe and see this is a if this works, man, it's a it's a breakthrough for a lot of people. You know what? I'm gonna do it. You know, they're saying that, oh don't do it, it's experimental. I'll tell you what's experimental. These the urologists giving you all these pills, man, because that's what messed me up. Destroyed my whole stomach, everything. They just too many pills, too many pills, no uh no results. Just getting sick, making things worse. It gave me SIBO, H. pylori, ulcers, just from taking the pills. So I had enough. No more of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to. I'm gonna try my best to, to to stay healthy, and hopefully these things go well for me. I mean, I did manage to take all the pain away, like I said, just by doing all these exercises. Man, believe it or not, believe it or not, going to the gym doing those exercises, walking, I managed to, to take a lot of the pain away. The only problem is that I have is sitting down. I still can't sit down because my prostate is still inflamed. I'm still urinating a lot more than I'm supposed to. But I managed to take some of the pain away, which is it's in, it's insane just by working out, man. So when I get the treatment, hopefully it won't be that much. Once I start getting those, uh, uh, those uh, injections, maybe it won't be as bad as I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Because... I think the combination of having pain, your, all your muscles are hypertonic, and then you have the infection, it's even worse. And then the reason why you're hypertonic is because you, once you start hurting, you, you start crawling yourself into a ball like a, like a fetal position. So you, st you, start, um, you start putting yourself in a fetal position, and you start getting all your muscles all tight. Like I said, release your fascia, look for videos, and uh, that I have right here to release the fascia. If I didn't talk about that, just go to my one of my videos and release the fascia. Hang, you know, believe it or not, just those, that thing helps. Reset your, your vagus nerve, which is right here. I don't have a video on that yet, but you guys could go on YouTube and right here and then just look for videos that are that are going to be for vagus nerve uh, release, the vagus nerve relief. But uh, yeah, that's that's it right there. Um, so that's the only thing I got for you guys. Uh, I'm leaving. Wish me luck. I uh, hope everything goes well for me. So I could, if it goes good for me, you know it's going to go good for a lot of people. Because if I document this, a lot of people don't even know about this uh, procedure, this uh, treatment. There's people that have been suffering for years, years and many, many, many years. And I'm, I'm hoping that I could fix the problem, you know. So happy 4th of July again, you know. You know, happy Fourth of July, and and celebrate um, celebrate a little bit. You know, even though you don't, maybe you don't feel like doing anything. 
And for the people that have SIBO and have stomach problems, I understand because I can't eat a lot of stuff either. And I'm leaving to Europe, so I won't be able to eat none of the good stuff they have over there. I still got to follow the same diet. Can't break it because I want to get healed. To, to me, my health is more important right now. So, you guys, you know, God bless you all, and I hope everybody finds their, their cure. And I hope that public for this, you know, therapy does work for you. But if it doesn't, you know, come to my channel and I can show you guys some of the stuff that might relieve the pain. And uh, maybe if I get this therapy, this treatment, and if it works for me, it could work for you too. All right, God bless y'all, and uh, I'll see you guys. I'll be, I'll be recording in, uh, and in, uh, in Europe to see how my treatment goes. All right, peace.